What up, it's your boy Grey Wolf, and the uh, reason why I'm doing this video is because it needed to be done. There's literally no videos. I mean, I was looking everywhere. I couldn't figure out a way to get uh, items into your Git repository on Keybase. Uh, so I figured I'd just make a real quick video showing how to do that. So. First, we're going to go to our Keybase, and we're going to create a new repository. So you create new repository, I'm just going to do a personal one, we're going to call it Books. You hit Create. And this is all end-to-end -end encrypted, so once it's on there, you know, you're the only one that can see it. It's not like it's not like your private settings in your uh, files section. You can't even see this unless you you know download or view the files from here. So now that you got your little Git repository, you're gonna click here to copy it so you can clone it. And I'm not making this video assuming that you don't know what GitHub and Git is. So I'm making this video for people who have a general knowledge of Git and GitHub. So we're going to copy that and we are going to uh, go to the GitHub desktop app. Make sure you download the GitHub desktop app because you need that in order to do this as well. And you're going to go file clone repository. Go over here to URL and you're gonna copy and paste that into there. You're gonna choose and what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new folder. I'll call it books. select books because it has there has to be an empty folder select that and we are going to clone that repository even though there's nothing in it we have to clone it first before we can put some stuff in it so after we clone it it's going to create it it's going to initialize to keybase then it's going to sync so now you have created your your encrypted uh, folder that you're going to put stuff in in order to uh, put it into your keybase. So now that we cloned the books file, the books uh, repository, we are going to go here, and I'm going to just put a couple of books in there that I already have highlighted. So I'm going to put that one and that one. We're going to put it into that folder. Move. So that should cause this to to show that it's changed. All right. It shows that two things have changed in that repository. That means that it can be uh, commented in. So we're just going to put uh, new books. And we're going to comment it to that uh, to that repository. After it's commented, all we have to do is publish it. It's encrypting it. You can see that at the top. Depending on how big the files are, it could take a little bit. All right, that's it. So now you have those encrypted files on there. Anytime you want to take them out, you can just create a new repository to uh, uh, copy that. No, not create one. You're going to copy that to uh, the file and uh, clone it again. But since we don't want these files to be known, you know, these are just local we're just going to remove this so we're going to remove it bada 
Bing. That folder and that file is no longer on there. As you can see, Books is not there. But your depot has those files on there that can be taken out whenever you need them. And it's the same way anytime you want to put some new files into this repository, you copy, clone, uh, add the files, comment, push, and then remove again. And there's the books right there in your repository. If you need them again, you can just, you know, it gives you the option to download or send a, a link to where you can download or whatever. But that's it. And this can be done on any Windows system that has the GitHub desktop. Just uh, go to github.com, I mean .org, and download the GitHub desktop. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Uh, I couldn't find a lot of information on how to do this on Windows 10. It's mainly just information for like Macs and Linux. And, uh, and I use Linux every so often on my virtual machine but it's slow so I wanted to be able to do it on my Windows machine because I'm starting to use Windows 10 more and more especially since now that uh, it has a Linux file system so uh, like I said hope that's helpful uh, if you guys have any other questions just uh, comment down below uh, uh, and if you want me to redo it and add some information uh, just let me know as well and I'll make like a second video on, you know, whatever information you need. Thank you.